hello uh, thank you for watching and if you could like this video or subscribe or leave a comment i'd appreciate it very much thank you very much for watching so um someone on uh, facebook there on a forum uh, farming forum <coughs> saying about uh, asking uh, about these uh, screw one but we were like um or the grease gun but the cartridge screwed into it this is a different type now it's a bepco brand but it's like um folks folks you say it not sure how you would uh, pronounce it, but um, similar one to my, that, but uh, this is an offer. <laughs> so, uh, to show this, it uh, claimed on the one it was zero mess. I, this isn't actually zero mess. It's less mess, but it's not zero. By the time you um, find a grease uh, nipple on a PTO shaft, and uh, you know uh, you get grease on your hand, and when you grab a hose, and when you pump it, you know it, it does get get messy. See, it's a bit of, I've wiped it off, but uh, it's a little bit on it. <clears throat> and uh, this is about seven year old, something like that. Six, seven, so we can see it's had some battle scars there. <laughs> That's a bit bent, but um, a bit of um, clay, do we call it, on it, you know, a bit of dirt on it. <laughs> so um, I'll show you now. Um, this isn't actually zero mess, but it's less mess than the ordinary one. And, uh, to us, I quite like this. Uh, ordinary one, the cartridge is 400 grams, this is 500 grams, so it's a fairly quarter bigger then. A bit more grease, so it doesn't, last, uh, doesn't run out as fast. And um, this is really easy to um, to uh, get the airlock out of it, you know, prime it. So we'll um, try to show now. So to change this, you screw it. You take cap off a new one. That's a bit uh, bent anyway, but... Then there we go. If you have an airlock, then what you can do, you do is use a lever there, push a bit out, and I'll try to do this out. I'm looking for the camera screen now. So you put it in there. So you got a bit there to prime it. Comes out anyway. So. Uh, didn't want to waste it too much there, but um, yeah, I quite like it. Yeah, it's quite good for uh, different types of grease as well. So um, this is EP2 and I have uh, the blue grease for the PTO shafts. So um, say I'm doing the old machinery EP2 or mug spreader bearings or whatever, you know, I can take it out, put the blue one in. And it doesn't matter if you if you um, get a bit of uh, EP2 really or a bit of blue in some PTO shafts or some bearings, it's going to use it like that. But, um, Something a bit more uh, modern, and you you can just use up the EP2 out until the blue comes through. Then put it on the, you know, you waste a bit of EP2, but um, it's good. Take it off, put a cap on it, store it away until you need it again. Put it in. It's easy as that, you know. You can. What time it all? I shouldn't really turn as easy, but uh, a bit worn and a bit um, battered then. So, um, it's easy to actually. So, as I said, I've, I've had it a few years now. I have a place to keep it uh, back cleaning. So, that's it really. You know, I know like an electric one, you, you don't have to pump it or anything, but, but this is, to us, if you could get an electric one like this, it'd be quite good. <laughs> but, um, there's no in screwing the metal bit when trying to pull the um, cartridge out and it's stuck in it, you know, to get the go to a gate hinge and try to pull it out like that, or you know, take that um, once you put it in, you know, a fiddly bit to the top, like it coils round and the handle breaks off and you get a screwdriver to put it off. But that's what I find good about this screw cap, screws on, you away. And if you run out, it's uh, easy to change. There, new one, you again. You know, it's as uh, simple as that. So it's it's not actually zero mess, it is messy. See my hand now, it isn't zero mess, but it's less mess than if I would put my finger in the, in the old cartridge in the one. So, um, yes, yeah, that's about it, really. Uh, thank you for watching, and um, goodbye from me for now. Then. Only um, thing to watch out about, different makes could have different threads on the top, 
So I think this takes uh, the folks um, cartridges. So uh, I got these uh, box cartridges with it, you know, a Betco brand one of these. But I've, uh, I have uh, the blue grease, I think that's folks, and, and it uh, fits in this. It's not, well, the blue one isn't quite the same thread, but uh, if you don't tighten it, um, you only put in just, um, not as tight as this one. You only put in just a bit, and the thread's holding, and it's the right one. But uh, something to watch out about if you can get the cartridges or you're stuck with the same brand. But uh, with this, I've, I've been lucky really. Um, I can stick another brand in it, and only thing, thread's not quite the same, so we don't tighten, tighten it, you know. Or you could strip the threads, but uh, just tight enough so it seals and you're uh, right one. But to be honest with you, I, I put it in front of the tractor anyway, so the threads do hold when it's jerking about as well, you know, vibrating. So um, that's right, just don't tighten, tighten it, you know. It's only plastic to start with, really. Okay.